Two of our hospital trusts are to merge to create a single organization, but there's concern both for jobs and patient safety. The University Hospitals Birmingham and Heart of England Foundation Trusts have revealed their plans to work together if both trusts' boards agree. Well, in a moment we'll be hearing live from the Chief Executive. But first, what do Foundation Trusts do and how do they work? Foundation Trusts run hospitals and other health services. They are still a part of the NHS but are designed to have a stronger local influence. They're independent from central government and local people can apply to become members and governors. At the moment, the University Hospital's Birmingham Foundation Trust runs the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. The Heart of England Foundation Trust runs Heartlands, Solihull and Good Hope Hospitals, as well as the Birmingham Chest Clinic. Under today's plans, all five will be run by one big foundation trust. So, should patients and indeed health workers be concerned about these two trusts merging? Here's the view from the union unison. It's going to be a difficult time for staff wondering what's going to happen and this is just the first stage so we don't actually know what's going to uh, be the situation going forward. Uh, but this is something that staff will be worried about but should be reassured that we will be working with the trust to make sure we minimise uh, job losses and make sure that actually it's a smooth process uh, that works for staff and patients which we're confident that we'll have the opportunity to do. Well, joining us live from the QE in Birmingham is the Chief Executive of both Trust, Dame Julie Moore. Julie, thank you for joining us tonight. What are the benefits of this merger? Well, the benefits, quite simply, are patient care and improving the quality. Um, we were asked by the regulator to go into Heart of England Trust 10 months ago now because it was having problems delivering quality of care and problems meeting its financial obligations. In nine months, thanks to the fantastic work of the staff in Heart of England, we've seen a miraculous turnaround. All the quality standards are, are being met, they're back on financial track, and it's really testament to the, the fantastic work of the staff in those organisations. You're doing your job across both trusts at the moment and have been for almost a year, so that's one less chief executive if there's just one trust. And presumably a merger means that could happen in more roles and there will be job losses because of this. No, we don't anticipate job losses at all. In fact, across the organisations, we've still got a lot of vacancies if you combine what we need, particularly for clinical staff. And we don't anticipate major changes to any clinical services whatsoever. In fact, quite the opposite. We want to grow and strengthen some of those. Where we're hoping to make savings is in things like our procurement, where we buy things and supplies for people. Bringing together the two organisations gives us much better clout, if you like, in the marketplace to achieve better deals for our patients. Already we've seen that we can achieve a savings of over £3 million by bringing the best of both procurement deals together. So that money will, of course, then go back into frontline patient care. So this isn't about saving money then, this is about making the most of being a big organisation, but surely there will be efficiencies to be made? We will make efficiencies, that's absolutely right, but we'll make efficiencies in the kind of things that don't affect patients, in how we buy things in our IT systems. It's not about cutting clinical care, quite the opposite, it's about strengthening it. We saw we had problems with quality across the um, city and our patients deserve to have the same high quality whichever part of Birmingham, Solihull or South, South Staffordshire that they are in. And therefore this is about making sure that we can offer that same quality and that same equality of access right across our catchment area. Just uh, th thank you very much for joining us. That's fantastic. Dame Julie, thank you very much. Police are investigating.